So once you download this template, you should get the zip file. Now just unzip it and you will get this folder over here. Now just open up that and you will find these subfolders inside it. Now this is the mobile files which you need to install them in Premiere Pro, which I will show you in a moment. But before that, if you want to use the same font that I have used, then I will recommend you to copy and paste this font links to your browser, download and install it. Now you can just go back and let's see how to install these mogul files. For that, open up Premiere Pro and just go to Windows and make sure this essential graphics is checked. And you are in this browse tab over here. Now just select all of these designs over here and drag and drop in this blank section and it will be installed over here. As you can see, there is total 15 different uh, designs which you can use. So you can just drag and drop them in the timeline. They are all 30 seconds long by default. You cannot increase more than 30 seconds, but if you want, you can decrease it. Now let's see how to uh, change the image and the text as well as the colors. For that, select the mogul files and from the edit tab, you can see all of these settings. At first, you will find these media placeholders where you can drag and drop your media over here. So I have imported a media over here in my project bin. So I'm just going to drag and drop this into this media placeholder section and it will be applied over here. As you can see, the video will be played. And then you will find this logo placeholder over here. So I have imported an PNG logo over here. So I'm just going to drag and drop this in the logo placeholder. And as you can see, it's applied over here. If you want, you can change the scale and position of the logo over here. Now for the text, open up this text drop down menu. And from here, you can type your text and it will be applied. You can change the font from this section and you can change the position, scale, tracking and line spacing. In the same step, you can change all of this text available on screen. At the end, you will find these color settings. If I just open up that, you will find a logo visibility option. So if you turn off that, the logo will be uh, turned off. And then you will find this logo original color. So if it's turned on, the logo original color will be revealed. Or if it's turned off, you can change the logo manual color and give it a color over here. In the same step, you can change all of the text, background and elements color as well as you can increase or decrease the background texture opacity. So that's basically it for this template. In the same step, you can drag and drop any designs and edit them depending on your need.